What does the fox say? Mike Huckabee is painting himself into the 2016 mural. His strengths aren't just limited to giving advice on survival food pantries, though he's also quite popular in Iowa. In fact, in the 2008 caucuses, 40,954 people voted for Huck. That is the most votes ever for a Republican in the modern Republican Iowa caucuses. John, just how potent is Pastor Huck? Well, let's um, start. I like that. Look at that butter sculpture. Mike Huck could be up there on the wall. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, let's start with the first thing that's true. We just mentioned the Iowa thing. He is, was a, a come out of nowhere triumph in 2008 in Iowa. His strength of the evangelical community is, I think, still strong on the basis of the show and his values and the things that he puts forward. And he is, in terms of pure performance, maybe the most talented Republican in this field. And look, those 40,000, I'm not saying they'd all vote for him again if he runs, but he, he has built loyalty rather than turn people away. Right. And if you look at the other people seen as strong Iowa candidates in his lane, people like Rick Perry, Ted Cruz, maybe Rand Paul, Rick Santorum, as you said, and just in terms of pure skill, Huckabee is very strong. The big question I got, and this is a lingering from 2008, can he take a punch? People focus on the fundraising. To me, it's when they come after him for his Arkansas record, right. does he act thin-skinned, right. does he act uninformed, or does he have a response? We'll, t we'll talk in a second about his fundraising things and, and whether he can build a national organization. Those are important things. But just to stay with his strengths, one of the things in 2008 that always impressed me was this line that he had, which was, I'm a conservative who's not mad at anyone. That was a powerful thing to say. He speaks to downscale voters, and there's a reason for those reasons. Yep. It's why the people in the Obama White House in 2012 worried more about him getting in the race than Mitt Romney. The establishment laughs at him and yes. says he'll never be the nominee. I got to tell you, if the guy runs the table in Iowa, which I think he can do if he, if he performs, it builds a team, and, if he, and, if he, and he figures out a way to handle New Hampshire where he probably won't do particularly well, dominates South Carolina, he is a strong candidate. The other thing about him is yeah. he has, when he's on, he has as good a touch on radio and television yeah. and debates as anybody else in the field. But here are the problems, and he knows he knows what these problems are. First is, he doesn't like talking to rich people. He actually doesn't like rich people very much at all. And so you've got to raise some amount of money. It's hard. He can live off the land more than some candidates, but you've got to be able to raise some money to be a national candidate. So he's got a problem with that. And the other problem is, not only does he not like rich people, he's got a chip on his shoulder that's like the size of Gibraltar. And he and it comes through. That That's yeah. the, 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 the counterpoint to, I'm a conservative, he's not angry at anybody, is the fact that he's got a lot of grievances yeah. that... He he needs, he needs a great campaign manager, and he needs a really great super PAC manager yeah. because he can make up with his fi fundraising shortcomings if he can get a super PAC going that does his bidding, particularly does the negative stuff. He loves to pretend he doesn't do negative, and let, and let, and let, but if he can let a super PAC do yeah. negative, he'd be in no, a lot better shape. I, I agree with that. I mean, look, he's got problems, but he also would be a real player. I think we both agree.